Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The market is booming on FIFA 23 with a lot of road to the knockouts, out of pack special cards, and just some of your most popular players rising a lot in price because of the way the content went down yesterday with the Rule Breakers promo. So I want to take a look at that and of course look into today on Saturday. What's our content going to be? There was a massively anticipated leaked player pick Alaba SBC that didn't drop yesterday. Instead, we have the Romain Fave Favre SBC. I've been calling this guy Brett Favre. Some of you NFL fans will know. But we had this guy's SBC yesterday and not the player pick David Alaba that we were expecting. Could that drop today? What could that do on the market? We'll talk through all of that situational stuff. And, of course, cover how the market went up a lot yesterday. And if you invested in Road to the Knockout cards it was an incredible day to make coins on a lot of those. I still have some Juan Bisakas. I bought a Konate. A lot of people made coins on any of the Road to Knockout cards because most out of all of them went straight up in price yesterday after we saw the content. So we're going to talk about all that and more in today's video and what to expect on a Saturday. I'm not buying any Rule Breaker cards heading into today. I feel like I missed the buy time, although there were probably a few buy prices earlier in the evening. And we'll talk about how those prices could react and the team of the week as well today in this video. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start by taking a look at Footbin and looking at these Rule Breaker card prices because as I mentioned, I tweeted out just like a couple hours ago. I was like, man, this promo has to be some of the cheapest cards we've ever seen on the first day of FIFA. I mean, of course, we have an extinct Ronaldo at 2 million coins. I don't think Ronaldo is worth 2 million coins. His gold card is worth 500,000 coins, less than that, right? 470K right now for like gold Ronaldo. And the only reason he's 470 is because he's up like 30, 40K because he's out of packs. This is the only Ronaldo you can use in the game. So if you bought gold Ronaldo, you're benefiting greatly from his new rule breakers card not being available on the market and this one being out of packs that's a huge w for you guys but for the rule breakers team in general again i just feel like the best word to describe this promo team is kind of lackluster yeah there's a couple of cool cards in here pk is dope ed and jekko with a massive boost kind of reminding me of harry kane's rule breaker card from like foot 21 i think jesus navas is cool fakir is cool again there's a lot of cool cards that are in here but a lot of these i think people saw yesterday and they were like you know, not that great, not that insane. And this is what I was thinking all morning yesterday when I saw the final leaks of this team was like, man, this content's not going to be that insane today unless we get some good SBCs. I think the rest of the market's going to actually start to bounce back. And that's what we were talking about on the stream as these cards went into packs. And of course, as we saw the SBC dropped that was dropped, not the David Alaba that we were expecting, just the Favre SBC. And that was basically it. We had an objective player, the Favre, and then the, the players in packs immediately on the market. Basically, the road to the knockout promo team just started flying in price because people realized like, man, these cards are cooler. They're more hype. They get, they're going to be live and upgrading, of course. And there was more hype for these cards going out of packs than there was for the brand new ones coming in packs for most people. And that's why I say the market boomed, right? It was because those road to the knockout cards did bits, right? Those rose up so much. Now, there was other cards that rose too, and we'll talk about that. And you, you might be like, Nate, what about my Benzema card that's down like 20K right now? What do you mean the market boomed? We'll get to that in a second as well, because we did have 50,000 coin packs that supplied a lot of those gold cards. But again, the stuff that was out of packs and the most meta cards absolutely exploded. Valverde went from 470,000 coins to 600K where he is now. Aubameyang is up big. Foden's up big. Um, you know, Lamar is up like 15K. Um, Paqueta is up. Actually, Rafinha, I'm going to take a look at this right now. I don't have enough coins to buy him, but Rafinha was like 215,000 coins. And right now, Footbin has them at 197. I would buy that. If I saw 197 pop up and I had the coins to get that, I would absolutely buy that because he was over 215,000 coins yesterday in the market's massive bounce back uh, that happened there. So that was the story yesterday, right? Lackluster content. This is a big thing that we can learn too because this happens and will happen multiple times throughout the year this year in FIFA where the promo team that comes out is just not as hype and maybe the promo team that we had the week before people want to invest in as they go out of packs you will see this it happened multiple times last year if the new promo team that comes in is not very exciting not very hype the last week's promo team will have a very nice rise out of packs especially if they are live cards 
<clears throat> and that is exactly what happened yesterday on the game. So other than that, though, you had some meta goals that did rise. You're talking about guys like, um, well, Ronaldo going out of packs. You had guys like Vinny Jr., who was actually his lowest, like right during that content drop because there was a bit of panic selling. He went down to like 178 in the 170s, then exploded right back to 191. With the market being so low in the past couple of days after the big panic that we had had during the week, some of these high-tier cards, your most high-tier meta cards, I'm talking like Van Dyke, I'm talking like that Vinny Jr., talking like Neymar. These were the guys that bounced up as well yesterday. Van Dyke was down in the 170s as well. He's back up at 190,000 coins. Those cards did good, right? Those top tier elite cards did good because number one and A, you have a lot of coins coming onto the game, right? We talked about the 50K packs in the code yesterday. We didn't end up getting those 50K packs that gave out the extra pack inside of it, right? That Rare Players Pack Plus was not dropped. We just had a regular 50K pack, which is worth noting that still it's 5% chance of packing a Rule Breakers player. And I think a lot of people that were opening packs of FIFA points yesterday were definitely opening these 50k packs first time in the store and that brought a lot of supply to the market it really did but it also brought a lot of coins to the market so your top tier meta players your out of packs players your heroes because if the new promo cards that are coming out are not that hype what are people going to go out and buy they're going to go out and buy other cards that they were not able to afford before maybe like a hero card you mean i mean the perfect example of a card that absolutely exploded yesterday was Marquisio. He was 530,000 coins. He was all the way up at 650 in the peak of the buyback, which was a couple hours after the content drop yesterday on Friday. A lot of heroes did really well. Yaya Torre was under a million coins. He's back up at like 1.1 mil right there, 1.1 mil on bid at the moment. So a lot of big bounce back and a lot of coins were injected into the market. But the flip side of that is, since we had those great packs released, that meant a lot of supply for some of the lower tier parts of the market. And, and cards are not surviving, right? And what we talked about in yesterday's video too is when you have big packs like that, especially these golds, they just continue to drop off at this stage of the year as we get further and further down the line. People are upgrading past gold cards into something different. Varan from 51,000 coins yesterday. Right now he sits at 37 K. Now, some of these some of these guys like Benzema, I think a few of them have dropped a bit too much. I bought a bunch of Benzema's tonight, like five or six of them at 60K flat because I saw him drop off so much. He was 78K from yesterday. Now he's down to like 64. If we do get the Alaba today, I'm kind of hoping that that comes out. I got a couple of Benzema's on my transfer list. And I think that a couple of these gold cards were actually decent buys and maybe still are decent buys heading into today. Ferland Mendy was like 88K. Now he's like 92. So you saw some prices that got really low Friday night into this morning on Saturday. But again, Ferland Mendy dropped off 10K yesterday, even though that's considered like a top tier meta card. He got packed a lot, right? And it was only the top tier select few cards like Neymar that were able to kind of beat that supply from a 50K pack. And people got extra coins and went out and bought those kind of cards and you saw those rise up. Now, the other part of the market that's doing really, really well is the other out of pack special cards. Like I'm talking some of these team of the week cards. Team of the week Holland was like 500K flat. There was panic selling yesterday for sure for the promo. And a lot of those out of packs cards that were panic sold rose back very nicely. This guy went all the way back to 570. That was a GG. Some of your ones to watch cards had pretty nice bounce backs as well. Mane was 460. He's now up to 504. Anthony I bought at 200 or 197K. He's now 220. Chamani was 80K flat. Renato Sanchez was 250. He's now 281. Um, you know, team of the week too, our right wing informed Salah is 500K. He was down at 420. Marquinhos was 180. He's now 220. Uh, KDB exploded yesterday, which this is a, there's some beginning to be some crazy discrepancies between the price of the gold card of some of these players and their inform. If you have gold KDB, I would be very careful because right now, I mean, a 400,000 coin difference between his gold card and his inform that has plus ones, plus twos on that upgrade, that's way too big of a discrepancy between the inform and the gold card. I'd be very careful holding this inform. There's another card that I was thinking of too that I thought that ratio between the inform price and the gold card price is just too much. Maybe it was Salah. Salah's getting up there too. His gold is 181. This card's 506. So just be a little bit careful because the next time we have a bit of a market correction or a market crash, a card like this Salah or that Kevin De Bruyne, 
technically should fall off a bit more because it should, you know, get corrected a bit more in price as it's a bit inflated just because it's more of a rare card. People are still maybe upgrading to that sort of card in their teams. So I'd just be a little bit careful with that. So that was kind of the story of the market yesterday. Your most meta stuff bounced back up and boomed really nice. Road to knockouts exploded yesterday, and now they're still up. If you have some of these cards, you're like, Nate, should I be selling them right now? I still have one Basakas. I'm not in a hurry to sell. These cards are out of packs. They're live. They're upgrading. The thing that would make these cards go down in the next couple of days, and honestly, the thing that you really have to watch out for is just insane content from EA Sports. If something is going to make people, A, panic sell their investment on these cards, it's going to have to be a pretty big SBC like that Hero SBC and Icon Pack SBC. It's going to take a really big piece of content for these cards to drop off, which is absolutely plausible like that's something that could happen in the next couple of days ea could re release a really big sbc i just don't have i don't think it's going to happen today on saturday i think today on saturday is actually going to be a pretty decent day for the market i picked up a couple informed tamori's at 160 um, because he got kind of low again this evening i think he might be able to rise up a bit into today on saturday before um he potentially Gets packed some more from Team of the Week pack supply. It's a little bit of risky business trading with a few of the Team of the Week cards. Uh, but I think today on a Saturday market, it, it's going to be pretty chill. I mean, realistically, the piece of content that we are expecting today is this David Alaba, right? 88 rated. We didn't see it yesterday. The leaks have been spot on, like literally through the entirety of this year so far. So if this does not drop today, I'd be shocked. Uh, I guess it could maybe be on Sunday. I don't know. Um, why EA would delay this. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense to me why EA released the far of SBC yesterday and then like not this because this would have been a much better piece of content that would have aided in the hype of the Rule Breakers promo yesterday uh, instead of the far. So I'm just a little confused on that one, but maybe this will drop today. Um, it could kind of jumble up the center back market a bit. I'd be careful on a guy like a PK. I'd be careful with, you know, some of those defenders in there, especially my gold Rudiger, gold Militao those types of guys, if this SBC is a very good price, which I'm not expecting it to be like an insane price. Um, it is a defender. I think people would be interested in doing this. I just think that it's all going to come down to how expensive it is. If it's more than 200,000 coins, that to me is too expensive for this Alaba card. So that I honestly think this might be our only piece of content today on Saturday unless we have like a second objective player that could maybe drop. Um, you know, some people were asking about like the uh, the mini release, right? Like we didn't see Ribery yesterday. We didn't see Chicharito. Would those guys be in a mini release or are they actually just a part of the team too? As as it seems right now through the leaks, that it seems that Ribery or Chicharito would be a part of a team two of Rule Breakers and not a mini release. So I don't know if we are going to have new cards coming into packs tomorrow on Sunday. And if we don't, that would also just make this feel, this promo feel again, another reason why it would feel a little bit dead, a little bit quiet and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about that stuff. Um, again, just rule breaker card prices today. Be careful with those. They will probably rise up a bit in the morning. Again, as I said, I didn't buy any of them. I feel like I missed the opportunity to buy them at their best point. Fakir was like 440K. I think now he's like 370, or sorry, he was like 330, 340 for a couple hours, and now he's back up to 370, 380. I would sell these guys before content um, just because, you know, people get supply every day. People log on, open FIFA points every single day when they get new preview pack or they get new promo packs or preview packs. Uh, the 50K packs are out for the whole weekend. So if people open those, it's not like new 50Ks are going to come today, but I believe the 25K packs are expiring today at 6 p.m. and they will be refreshed, um, of course, when EA put out some new promo packs today on a Saturday. So I would just be careful with those rule breakers because I would imagine that, especially with how the hype is for them and how the hype is for the promo in general, I think these guys would end up dropping off a bit more into the evening, Saturday night into Sunday. Um, of course, even though they could rise up a bit this morning from Saturday uh, into Saturday, into the, the time when a lot of people are playing their foot champions games. So that's kind of my opinion on the whole market scenario as a whole. The last thing that I'll say is, I mean, we talked about this yesterday in the video a lot. SBC fodder is looking tasty. It's looking primed and ready for picking. 84 is 1.4K, 85 is lowest they've been in a while. 86 is really cheap as well, especially as I'm looking at these late night prices. Like Donnarumma is out of packs. 
out of packs this guy is right now. His inform is dirt cheap at 34,000 coins. And this card is down a couple K because it's fodder, right? But, he, you know, 88 or 19K, like on bid, you can probably snag these guys for 18K. That's incredible. 89s are in the low 20s. 87s are like 13K. Really, really good deals out there for fodder. Now, I don't think that fodder is going to go up crazy with a David Alaba SBC. And I want to make that clear. Like I've mentioned, if you're buying SBC fodder, just make sure you think it through how much you can buy with how many coins you have, because I just don't feel like a lot of these cards are going to explode until we get an icon or a hero pack. And that's when these cards are really going to start to go up. So I still think it's a great time to buy these cards. Probably one of your last opportunities to buy some of these fodder items club stock them uh, before they maybe start to trickle up. If we do get an Alaba SBC that's halfway decent, or of course, as the supply kind of dwindles off as well as the weekend ends, right? Usually you see most of your supply on the weekend and you see less of it uh, during the week. So that's something to kind of watch out for there. Now, coin making for me yesterday, I mean, icons, the rare cards, I flipped a Konate, uh, I bought him at 150. I flipped a Correa for a cheap flip. Like, I made some decent coins yesterday. It wasn't the craziest day ever. This PK, I bought it like, I don't even remember, like 300 flat, I think. Sold it at 330. I bought this for 259. Bought this for 530 something. Um, and then I bought some Wabasaka. So my coins right now are in some fl uh, some flips into today. Uh, I really feel like my trading motivation took a hit last week for sure. I mean, I remember if I think back to last weekend, I, last weekend was an insane Friday. We made a lot of coins. I feel like I was making like 100 to, uh, 100 to 150K per day almost. And I was getting my coin total up there a lot. But with the coin lo losses that we had earlier this week, kind of put me on like a little bit in a downer mood, like to actually trade and to grind. So I'm not saying that today I'm going to grind a lot of market because it's a really busy day for me today on Saturday. But you know, I look forward to maybe tomorrow on Sunday getting onto the market a bit again. I feel like this market's going to be pretty healthy for the next couple of days. Uh, of course, barring any insane content from EA Sports, and that should mean really good potential to trade and to buy some cards. A couple of things from this team of the week, I would say, is we've seen these guys hit really low prices. I think if you see it Tamori below 100 and like, if, he, if Tamori's in the 150s, that's a really good price. And if you see Joao Cancelo anywhere below like 120, low 120s for him, he's up right now at about 130. Wow, 139. So he's up a couple thousand coins. I think that's a really, really good price for him. I'm not as worried about this team of the week as I was team of the week three. Um, unless we have some crazy supply that hits between now and Tuesday, that'd be out of the ordinary. Like a like a UEFA marquee matchups is not going to drop this week because we don't have Champions League games. Um, so, you know, Correa being 39K is pretty low. He could rise up a little bit today. He was already like 36. He's up a bit. Frank Pong at 17 seems decent. Pedri is a Barcelona inform with 80 pace, right? He broke that 80 pace barrier with his inform. 21K for that's great. Martinelli at discard is great. Uh, Bruno Gumaresha this card is fantastic. Donnarumma is a card that if you're a fodder investor and you have an, an extra 100K to put into fodder, buy a Donnarumma and put it in the club because a PSG goalkeeper, you know, when we get the next PSG special card here or there, that could be a card out of packs that does well. It's high rated. It's going to be more rare. He's also like one of the cheaper 800 rated fodder cards as an inform. So I think that's a good card to pick up at some point in the next day or two as informs are pretty cheap over the weekend. And uh, one thing I'll say too about the Rule Breakers promo is, and I'm actually, I'll actually do this right now um, on the video is going through and picking up one of each of the cheapest guys on bid today or sometime during this weekend is a fantastic, fantastic idea. Now, Hector Herrera is not quite discard. These guys are basically discard like 11 to 50 right around the discard price at 11k if you can snag one of these like if, it, if it's 11,000 coins it really doesn't matter that much if you get them at straight up discard that's probably the best but last year the rule breakers um was the first promo where they actually required a promo card in an sbc now we've seen the team of the week requirement now twice in sbcs um but rule breakers last year were required for a couple of them um, and even a couple SBCs after that as well, they were acquiring these cards. So it's not a bad idea to put one of these in the club, to put an Aurelio Buta in the club. I'll pay 11K. I really don't even care. Like a thousand coins. If I'm going to make coins on that, he's going to go up to maybe like, I don't know. You're looking, you're looking for a card like this to go from basically almost discard up to somewhere like 
13, 14,000 coins. That's kind of what you're looking to do. So you can sweat it out, try to get them for like 10, 500 or whatever on bid or on snipe as people pack these. Probably a little bit easier during the day since there's more listings and at nighttime there's a little bit less and still people have, there's still competition to, to buy these. But, you know, buy one if you have a couple hundred K, put it in the club of these three guys that are discard. So Frankowski is the last one that I have to get. Also, this guy, I think this guy's going to rise out of packs. I really do. This is a good card. This is a really solid card. I know we just had the Klaus card that was uh, a left wing back in the league on as well, but he gets a nice team link with being a, a lens player uh, to that Fofana, Seiko Fofana card that we had earlier. Um, and, you know, I, I keep thinking about the League One links that I have in my team. I kind of want this guy. Uh, I kind of want to try him out because he looks really, really solid, has a pretty good stats. I'll take 11k for Frankowski. Boom. I don't really care that I'm paying 500 coins more than what is truly discard. So I'm happy with that for those. So I think I would stock one of those in the club during the weekend because I think that's just smart. Hold those, wait for them to rise over time. It's kind of like a discard in form investment. And at the very least, those cards out of packs probably rise two to 3k anyway, just because they're going out of packs and all of them are semi usable with the pace or the links uh, or just the links that they have like we talked about with Frankowski. So those are basically no risk investments. If you have an extra 100K, putting 33K into those guys is not going to break the bank whatsoever. So like I said, today on Saturday should be a pretty chill day. I think you'll see a little bit of a market rise in the morning. That's why I picked up those Benzema's. That's why I picked up those Tamori's. Um, and of course, if you're trying to trade with any of the road to the knockout cards, you'll probably see them rise up a little bit more in price. Um, and if you want to take the safe route and sell as they go up and, and sell now because they have risen a decent amount, you absolutely can. But I still think there's a little bit of money in some of these cards as they, especially the higher tier ones, continue to get rare. Like an Aubameyang was 440 for a long time yesterday. Now he's 480, just like continuing to rise up in price. And I think right now and this weekend, and I don't think we're going to get hero compensation, guys. This is the one week anniversary of the crazy hero 25k pack and there was a uh, tweet yesterday i don't know if you guys saw this or not but there was a tweet yesterday from an ea help tweet that said the hero pack issue was fixed with no plans to offer any make good now that was from bob here uh an ea help member and this tweet got a lot of news and a lot of uh, hate basically because people were waiting for some sort of compensation on that but honestly guys a week gone by with no tweet about hero compensation it looks like we might be stuck in the mud it really does and i mean this might become the new meme like we had ea shay we might have ea bob be the new meme here but like this tweet has like 108 quote tweets you know people are not happy to see that yesterday um and now the, again it's ea help we know that ea help have been wrong before so we take that with a grain of salt but um you know I, as I was trying to say, I, I think that heroes are actually a pretty solid way to trade again. If we know and if we're hearing that that hero compensation is not going to be a thing, watch for fluctuations on these guys. Watch for opportunities to trade with them as they get panic sold. I like trading with heroes more than icons. So um, icons are still pretty good to trade with, right? They fluctuate a ton and they are pretty rare cards if you find the right guy. But uh, watch trading with heroes today, trading with out of pack special cards that have fluctuations. Of course, depending on the SBC content that we get, there could be some cards moving. So that's kind of a big time market video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Have a great Saturday. Best of luck in your weekend leagues and best of luck in whatever else you're doing this weekend. It's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.